Congress has sent me a bill that would overturn this policy. If this legislation became law, it would compel American taxpayers for the first time in our history to support the deliberate destruction of human embryos. I made it clear to Congress and to the American people that I will not allow our nation to cross this moral line. Chloe was born healthy, perfect, perfect little baby. And about nine months, uh, we started noticing things that she couldn't hold her bottle. And her right fist was always very tight. And then uh, when it came time to crawl, she never crawled. She would do what we called the Chloe shuffle. There's the Chloe shuffle. Which was kind of uh, put her left, front, left, left leg in front of her and almost propel herself by moving her leg forward and the right leg would drag behind. Without the reinfusion of her cord blood stem cells, I truly believe we'd be living a completely different life. Chloe would be very far from where she is today. Physically, emotionally, mentally. majority of Americans from across the political spectrum and from all backgrounds and beliefs have come to a consensus that we should pursue this research. That the potential it offers is great and with proper guidelines and strict oversight, the perils can be avoided. That is a conclusion with which I agree. might say, why do you need to go to embryonic stem cells if the adult stem cells are so great? No adult stem cell, like a blood-forming stem cell, can even become another stem cell that's closely related. <laughs>